Apollo's ambient designer was created to give composers and producers the ability to create guitar-based ambient sound beds. You'll notice that there are six main groups, each with their own unique sound. You got here in the reverse sounds. Slides. You got your ambient loops. You got your sustainer samples here. Before you dive into creating your ambient bed, you're going to want to choose a key. Now, clicking these black keys, which are mapped all the way to the right of the keyboard, will select that key. So if you click C, the entire uh, ambient bed will be in C. So these samples will automatically stretch or um, readjust themselves so that they're in the right key. So here's D, E, The next thing you're going to want to do is turn on latch mode. Now, the way latch mode works is you trigger a key, and it'll automatically engage a loop. I'm not actually pressing a key or holding it down on the keyboard right now. It's automatically playing back. And I can go ahead and hit another key, and the sound continues to loop. And let's say uh, I don't like the sound that I just triggered. I simply hit the key again, and it disengages that, that sound. I'll go ahead and do it with the first sound I hit. Now, the idea is to have these sounds trigger and latch while you're adding sounds from all the different six groups. So let's trigger that first one. Now I'm going to go over here to the red group, and I'm going to trigger... using this fader to kind of turn it down a little bit. Let's trigger D. Now the first thing you'll notice is this little light here. This is indicating what groups are actually triggered. Nothing over here is triggered, so it's not illuminated. Now I want to go over here to the third group and let's add a little bit of these slide sounds. That sounds really nice. Maybe some ambient loops. Oh yeah, no, I don't like that one, so I just simply struck it again to turn it off. I don't like that either. Mm. Oh, I like that one. Okay, we'll roll with that. So right here you can tell everything's just a little kind of overbearing, maybe not panned properly. So to solve that issue, we actually have an entirely separate page. Now, as you see, I clicked to this edit, which brought me to this mixer page. And you can see the samples that I have triggered within that group. So I clicked edit over here on the air samples. I'm in uh, the major samples right now. So let's click here and I'm going to go ahead and pan this to the left pan this one to the right. Instantly kind of just opens it up a little bit. I have reverse sounds over here triggered. Let's go to that sample. Let's kind of move them over a little bit. I got my slides. Let's leave slides kind of going. And I have my ambient loop here, so let's uh, go ahead and kind of pan that to the right a little bit. And right there we basically have um, a very simple ambient kind of bed, which you can then build your cue on or your song. And uh, let's say I just kind of want to stop playback. I'm really happy with this. I go ahead and I just press latch. It disengages all the samples. But let's say I want to um, get that into my DAW and have uh, proper playback. Now, I kind of don't remember exactly where I was uh, triggering these samples over here. So that's why we built in this full mix key. So if you go here to C7, and if I were to just hit that real quick. Apollo has been memorizing all the samples I was playing. 
while I was creating it in latch mode. So anything that I create in latch mode will play back with C7. So if I'm in my DAW, I can simply just map C7 down there in the piano roll and then move on. Now let's take a closer look at these individual groups. We'll use slides one as an example. Now you'll notice that there are tabs. You can actually click on each of these tabs and add new sounds. you notice that these are all major, and, and then if I click over here, I'm going to be in minor. I can go down here, and you can literally see how many different groups we have. You have your amp buzz. I love your sustainer samples. Everything here, you have different effects, different noises that you can kind of add, um, fingers brushing on the strings. You can go down and trigger anything that you see. You have reverse sounds and um, let's take a look real quick at simple phrases. Now simple phrases are just playing normally. Now uh, let's say we want to go into the back end and check out these different samples we're triggering. Let's take this one for example. So we have C0 or in this case sorry it's C2 I want to reverse that sample. Simply click, and now that sample will reverse. Let's go here. And let's do this one. Let's go over here and uh, now trigger latch. Let's check out what we did there. Just kind of turn this into something uh, a little bit more. Now let's go back and uh, let's add a little bit of reverb. sounds real nice. Maybe a little bit of delay. Now we just have a really cool sound. We have right here, as you see, let's say we kind of want to bring up the volume a little bit. We have a limiter, compressor. Each of these, when you click on them, the effects change right here. Let's add a little bit of limiter. Turn that up a little bit. Let's add a little bit more reverse sounds for this next group. Just sounds really, really cool. I also want to point out that we have surround capabilities for each of these groups. So you can mix in 5.1 and you can actually send each individual group to a specific speaker that you'd like. Also, if you hover right over here, just like in the swells patch, we have this info icon. Now, if you get a little lost or you maybe forget exactly how to use this uh, ambient designer, click on that info and it'll kind of walk you through latch mode, as well as kind of remind you that you can start with this key, setting the key for the entire pad. And again, remind you that the full mix note exists, which really helps with getting your ambient design into your DAW. One last thing to mention is global effects. If you do want to add effects to all groups, simply click on global effects and anything that you add here with the effects wheel will be applied to all groups. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out our other videos on YouTube for further information on Apollo.